Nola Jet here at Randazzo's Family Restaurant. Huge portions, great food in here. Yeah, you ain't going away hungry, that's for certain. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we do a restaurant review of Randazzo's Family Restaurant which is located in the New Orleans suburb of Metairie at 4462 Wabash Street, which is about 16 minutes and 11 miles away from the French Quarter. Eating the top food New Orleans has to offer can be a challenge with so many great places to eat in the greater New Orleans area. Randazzo's Family Restaurant is a fantastic New Orleans dive joint that offers huge portions of delicious food at a great value price. So let's go ahead and walk inside and check this place out. So I've been coming to Randazzo's for many years as I used to work nearby and this was one of my go-to lunch spots for a great meal when I was in a hurry to get back to the office. Randazzo's Family Restaurant is not just some of the top food in New Orleans for offering a great value as they also offer a lot of great quality with their large menu that includes many pasta dishes and we will sample their great lasagna in this episode. So as you can see, it's just really a large room with a lot of interesting things inside. I typically like to sit at the tables next to the window. And they always have a great selection of their daily specials on their chalkboard. So with that on top of the menu, they have a lot of great selections here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the menu now. So for appetizers, they have catfish nuggets, chicken quesadilla, chicken tenders, chili cheese fries, eggplant sticks, fried mushrooms, Garlic cheese bread, garlic cheese fries, hot tamales, mozzarella sticks, onion rings, Rob's cheese fries, spinach and artichoke dip, stuffed artichoke, then soups and salads, Caesar salad, chef salad, Diane's chicken club salad, grilled chicken salad, grilled tuna salad, grilled shrimp roulade salad, house salad, popcorn shrimp salad, seafood medley salad, then they have chili, gumbo, and the soup du jour. Then we have house specials with chicken fettuccine, chicken parmesan, eggplant parmesan, fettuccine alfredo, regular lasagna, then lasagna with alfredo sauce, pasta italiano, spaghetti and meatballs or Italian sausage, veal fettuccine, veal parmesan, then plates with a 14 to 16 ounce ribeye, chicken tenders, honey glazed pork chops, fried chicken, grilled chicken and steamed veggies, panade veal cutlet, Randazzo's big burger, red beans with sausage, and then $8.99 and up daily specials. Then we have seafood, combination platter, fried catfish for dinner, fried oyster dinner, fried shrimp dinner, seafood platter with soft shell crab, shrimp fettuccine, grilled tuna steak, then side orders with baked macaroni, baked potato, Cajun coleslaw, cheese fries, fries, green bean and artichoke stuffing, mashed potatoes with gravy, steamed vegetable, potato salad, red beans and rice, side salad, sweet potato fries, and $16.99 steak night, Wednesday and Saturday, 4 p.m. to close. Then they have their po' boy menu that has an impressive selection of items along with a muffalata, along with their breakfast menu that's quite extensive, and a great drink selection along with their impressive dessert selection. So, a huge amount of food, and I got a salad to go with my lasagna I ordered. Let's dig in. Oh, oh, oh I got it with some Italian dressing which is their house dressing here so it's a uh, nice little salad you get just kind of plain iceberg lettuce with some tomatoes and cucumber but it's a good way to start your meal out now the lasagna here is insanely large the lunch portion is insanely large the dinner portion is even larger so get ready for one of the largest lasagnas you've ever seen served so we're going to need all of this uh, wonderful vegetable warm-up here just to get ourselves prepped up for the hard work ahead. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it. It is a hard challenge to get through the huge amount of lasagna they give you here. I am, however, going to make it a full three-course meal for your entertainment out there. So just like I'm going to destroy this salad, I'm also going to ask you to destroy that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and I really would appreciate it as it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. So I successfully destroyed the salad and now we're going to have to move on to our next course which is seafood gumbo and this looks quite fantastic. Now of course I've got to uh, put some mandatory hot sauce on there 
And I do enjoy using a little Tabasco sauce to really kick the flavor up for my taste buds. All right, so let's give it a thumbs up for the Tabasco application. Ho, 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 ho. Comment below what your favorite kind of hot sauce is. Uh, we have quite a selection in uh, Louisiana, but uh, other parts of the country have their preferred methods and uh, spices as well. So just uh, comment below, let us know your favorite hot sauce if you have one. If you don't like hot sauce, comment that down below too. Ooh, just so look at that big piece of shrimp and this bite of gumbo. Mmm, so good. <laughs> It's a cold day outside and this gumbo is so good to eat on a cold day. So many big pieces of shrimp in here. Ooh. So all the flavors in here of the seafood combined with the Tabasco really warms me up inside and makes me feel all wonderful and all the chill is out of my bones now. I'm feeling so good now. Ooh. Now, freezing cold in New Orleans is like, uh, you know, anything that's in the 40s, uh, it's really cold. The humidity makes it feel pretty uh, cold. But go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up like I destroyed the gumbo. Yes, it was so good. You definitely want to give that if they have it on special. And then the lasagna's here. Oh, this thing is huge. It's a monster. Look at this thing. And let me tell you, this is the lunch portion. The dinner portion's even larger. I often can't finish the lunch portion when it's all I order. So after the gumbo, oh, I'm going to have a hard time finishing this. So this is going to be quite a challenge for me as this is a huge amount of food. Wow, and look how beautifully cheesy, hot steam coming off of this. This is such a perfectly prepared lasagna. It's so good. Every time I've had it, it's been fantastic. It's the thing I've eaten here the most of uh, the many things I've eaten here. The chicken parmesan, the veal parmesan, those are all fantastic. The po' boys are great. I've actually only tried the burger once. I need to uh, add the burger back, so that'll be another video for our, our ongoing search for the best burger in the New Orleans area and the USA. Although the lasagna is uh, definitely on the list for one of the largest servings of lasagna I've ever had and maybe one of the best lasagnas I've ever had as they definitely do a fantastic version here. Uh, the dinner portion though is just, oh, <laughs> uh, it's not possible for me to finish the dinner portion at all. It's so large. As I said before, the lunch portion itself is quite a challenge. So you would have to have quite a huge appetite to finish all of this food in one sitting. So, you usually get a little uh, extra snack to go. However, I didn't eat anything all day, so I'm gonna be able to do a pretty good job here, I think. I've got a pretty good appetite worked up. I did some exercise earlier to burn off a lot of calories, so I think I'm gonna be on pace to do a decent job. I might not be able to finish it all, but I'll put up a good effort at least. <laughs> I don't think we'll uh, have too much left at the end, hopefully, although I'm starting to slow up a little bit. It's definitely starting to fill me up already. It's so delicious, though. The flavors are really good in here, all that ooey gooey cheese. And then you see we've got that nice garlic buttered French bread right there. It's also amazing. Uh, unfortunately, I often don't even have the room to eat very much of the French bread, so we'll see if I get into the french bread today ho, 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 ho. so doing a decent progress so far with the lasagna though so it's just wonderfully so cheesy every bite is still just piping hot you can see the steam coming off of it and that ooey gooey cheese perfection it's just so good there's a lot of good ricotta cheese in here too oh it's just a great combination of cheeses the meat is fantastic in there there's so many good flavors going on Every bite is really nice. I'm really enjoying it. And uh, it's always been a very enjoyable time to eat lasagna and randazzos. And as you saw from the menu, they have a really huge selection. So they are a Creole Italian restaurant, like many of the restaurants that we have in New Orleans. Even though according to some people from other places, we have no Italian food in the New Orleans area, which is utterly inaccurate and historically provably false. So we have quite a lot 
I mean, I guess maybe Sicilians don't count as Italian and uh, some of the other people's uh, definition of Italian, I guess. But uh, I think uh, lasagna definitely counts as Italian food here. So this is definitely a wonderful version of it. So I would recommend you certainly give this one a try if you've got a huge hankering and hunger for a good lasagna. This is definitely fantastic value for your money. It's going to fill you up, and it could probably fill two or three people up if you just added a few side items or added even eating the bread to it. So this is a lot of food, and uh, I'm pretty full uh, right here, and I'm definitely having to force it down because it is so much food here. They are so generous with the serving sizes. This is definitely old school New Orleans serving size. This is uh, no uh, little petite servings here for people that don't like to have a lot of food. So no nouveau cuisine here. We don't do the nouveau cuisine in the old school restaurants. Some of the newer restaurants in the French Quarter will uh, pull off some of that. Uh, restaurant August would be a very nice restaurant that is uh, well noted for giving very small portions at lunch. And uh, we do have some others that are newer restaurants that will give smaller portions, but usually you get a nice, good, healthy meal out of most of your experiences in the New Orleans area. So uh, you do have to exercise a lot here to keep your uh, spelt figure looking uh, not so bloated looking. However, it is carnival time though, so we do have to do a little excess before uh, Mardi Gras day, and when it all ends, it's time for Lent to begin, which is really hard. It creates a lot of suffering in New Orleans because we absolutely have no seafood to eat, and the seafood here is terrible, as everybody knows, which actually everybody goes more crazy and I think eats more during Lent because that gets to be the peak of crawfish season, and we have so much good food, so many good crawfish boils. So really, the feasting never ceases here. So you really have to learn a, a life of keeping balance. You gotta eat a little, drink a little, dance a little, and exercise a whole lot in between. You gotta make sure you take time to exercise. Or, uh, wow, when I uh, was a freshman again, the freshman 15, especially after basic training in the Army where I lost so much weight and then gained some back and then some, uh, the New Orleans diet can do that and more to you. It's more like the freshman 50 for people that moved to New Orleans for the first time. So definitely try to pace yourself. Oh, wow, okay. Looks like I'm going to actually polish off this entire huge plate of lasagna. I'm so full, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to manage the French bread though. French bread is not gonna be possible, I'm afraid. So I do apologize, there will be no delicious garlicky butter bread sampling. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and destroy that subscribe button like I destroyed this lasagna. So the total for my meal was $22.20 before tip, which is still a great deal for a gumbo, a salad, and a lasagna, and an iced tea. It is a little more expensive than it was before the pandemic. But we've got to walk up to the front to pay the bill here. And as we walk up to the register to settle our account, they do have homemade brownies to tempt you even further. So got to be careful. They have a lot of great food in here. So thanks to everybody at Randazzo's Family Restaurant for many years of fantastic food and always taking great care of me. And tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the NOLAJET channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.